Hey Pisces, what is going on? I hope you are very well. My name is Diane and uh, this is Madam Butterfly Tarot and we are going to do a love reading for September. But you know, like all my readings, it is a timeless reading so whenever you oh, definitely get some communication here, whenever you happen to find this is when the message was meant for you. So some kind of movement, breakthrough, communication happening here, okay? Uh, you are so welcome here, Pisces. Thank you so much for being here with me. You know, I, <laughs> I appreciate it so much. Look at that. Love off uh, Coming in for you. And you know, if you feel like liking and subscribing for me, Pisces, I would greatly appreciate that as well. I just saw the Ace of Cups as well, so this is a new person you got coming in here. I just want to start off with one of these and we're just going to... Okay, I have to talk about this. This new person coming in... Um, it's like... A, a, now, obviously, I'm not saying that you need someone to make you feel worthwhile, that's not what I'm saying, but I think you've been somewhere where like, maybe you, you questioned your worthiness or something. This this new person, because it, it may be like you've been around family or in a relationship or something where like they made you question your self-worth. This new person that's coming in, they're going to like revive you. You see how they've got so much colour? It's like... They, I don't know, they're like a very light energy, like a very healing, light energy. They bring like a lot of colour back into your world, like a lot of happiness. And they make you like remember your own worth, you know, or maybe you've never had it. <laughs> but it's something about this person, you know, they're, it's like they're going to be giving you like unconditional love. And it makes you see that you're worthy of love. You know what I mean? Just be... Yeah. And I feel like it's because you've been somewhere before where maybe someone told you you weren't. Okay. What is this? Tell me about this new person. Or what's going on for Pisces in love? Can't say that. You have uh, spiritual maturity. So this is like your spiritual match basically coming in here. It's like a spiritual partnership, like both of you help each other grow. And now it's like you're kind of ready to take this like journey forward together. Do you know what I mean? Yin and Yang. And you have love. Yeah. This is, you have like very pure love coming in here. This person is like the yin to your yang, okay? The divine feminine to your masculine, the masculine to your feminine. And that's not about gender, by the way. That's, you know, it doesn't, doesn't have anything to do with gender, but it's, it's like your match. You know, you complete each other. I mean, for example, you might be the girl and you're the masculine energy, you know what I mean? And this other person may be or well, you're Pisces, so you, you know, you may be the, let's say you're, maybe you're the guy and you're the feminine energy and this other person's a girl and they're the masculine energy, so it doesn't matter. It's like kind of what energy the person has, but it's like you complete each other. You know what I mean? It's like your perfect match coming in. Oh, the yin to your yang, Pisces, finally, right? And that's kind of why it's like you kind of give each other worthiness. You know, it's like you kind of reflect each other's, you know, what you've been through. Because I, I have a feeling this person struggled with worthiness in the past themselves. Uh, what's going on for Pisces in love? There, okay, with the... Okay, there's an ending manifesting. <laughs> this is for those of you who are like in a connection, right? And you might be still heavy in this connection, like a, a bad toxic connection. 
or you know you may be at the tail end of it and it's coming to a close right um but it's something yeah see you're somewhere this is where this worthiness thing comes in you have been somewhere or you still are somewhere where you feel left out in the cold and unloved you know that type of thing where you can be in a room full of people and you feel really alone and you're like oh my god i nobody understands me here um but this new person because they're like your psychic partner i don't know why i said it like that but you have the yin and yang it's like because they're kind of you have this like psychic link like they, they literally are like your reflection like they get you and you get them and you don't feel left out in the cold anymore with this person you know what you mean like so it's it's not like because maybe in the past you've always been like oh my god I must be a weirdo because I don't fit in anywhere or like all these people make me feel like I'm not worthy or that I should change myself to fit what they want but you don't feel like that with the new person okay so wherever you are at the moment there's an ending manifesting okay so it may not be happening now but it may be kind of gaining momentum because that's what happens with self-worth you know it drip 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 drips in until all of a sudden you know you're strong and you say things to people that you would never have thought of saying before uh this may be an air sign that you're dealing with okay let's see what else for pisces the four of pentacles You have the Five of Swords underneath the, the bottom of the deck there. Okay. What else for Pisces, please? That's the Knight of Wands. Okay, and let's get one more. What else for Pisces, please? The Seven of uh, Cups. Okay, let's clarify. You have the Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck here you're leaving something behind like it's wherever you are now or wherever you were recently it was a karmic connection okay it was there to teach you a lesson and now it's time to go <laughs> um the person that you're with may be deceitful or they may have misrepresented themselves or li lied to you you're dealing with some kind of toxic person okay it's time to go um, okay, you have the Page of Pentacles and the Page of Cups here. Um, okay, I don't know if that's two offers or one person. Let's just see. Um, okay, clarify this Five of Pentacles. Clarify the Five of Pentacles, please. <laughs> Ten of Swords. Okay, so basically, there's going to be an ending. Um, for some of you, maybe there already was an ending. Maybe this person left you. Um, but I feel like for a lot of you, you're still in this toxic connection and you're basically manifesting an ending. There's going to be an ending. Clarify the magician. Sorry if you can hear my phone. Uh, clarify the magician, please. The five of wands. So it may feel like everything's a little chaotic at the moment but it's actually things are being manifested okay sometimes when things are feeling like sometimes when things are being manifested it can feel like everything is a little chaotic because there's something having to end before the new thing can start you know you might be feeling a little up in the air um also you know there may be like if you're in this connection still you might be fighting with the person more because you have yeah you've started to that that 
drip, drip, drip confidence and self-worth is starting to trickle through <laughs> and you're starting to stand up for yourself more. So it's leading to more fights with this person that you're with. You know, because before, I, you know, maybe you were just like, okay, like anything for a quiet life, you know what I mean? Like, yes, we'll just do whatever you want. Yes, master, like anything you want, just to, just so you'll leave me alone and not have a go at me. Do you know what I mean? But I feel like you're getting a lot more, you know, determined to stand up for yourself. And I think that's what's going to, see, the sun and the knight of swords. Like you're starting to see things more clearly. You have the Seven of Pentacles, the Tower and the Judgment card. This ending, you've been trying to decide what to do because a lot of you have already met someone new. You've been trying to decide what to do here. Should I end this connection? Should I stay? Should I go for the new person? I don't know what to do. Um, you may end up making the decision very quickly. Like it may be a snap decision. Like something that, you know, it, it took you a long time to make the decision, but then once you do it, things move very fast. Um, clarify this Four of Pentacles. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. <clears throat> That's funny. Because you have the Four of Pentacles with the Knight of Cups and the, the Eight of Wands. So it's like something that was held back with the Four of Pentacles suddenly is no longer held back. And you see it took a long time for the cards to come out. So you may have, you may, I think this is you. You've held back these feelings for a long time. And obviously if this is your person is in the connection and you're the cross watcher, you know, you flip the rules or whatever, but I think this is you. You've held back feelings for this other person. They may be a Leo, like for a long time. And then all of a sudden it's just, boom, there is, there's like communication coming in <coughs> and a love offer coming in. I feel like the thing is, you're very aware that when you end this, it's going to be everything changes with the tower. Like everything changes. Ten of Wands. See, Virgo had a similar reading. I wonder if some of you guys have Virgo in your chart or if you're dealing with a Virgo. I feel like the decision has weighed very heavily on you because you know that it's going to be like a pain to end your current situation you know because there might be like a lot of backlash but i feel like you've been putting off the decision with the two of swords but it's in reverse it's it's time you know like it's going to come to a point where you just do it you just make the decision because i feel like the fighting i feel like that's what that five of wands is there's like these these fights that keep happening and this is kind of, it's going to come to, this is what spirit does, you know, they push and they push and they push until it comes to a point when you have to have the tower moment. You know, like working in a crappy job, right, for example, and you're like, oh, I'll just stick it out, I'll just stick it out, you know, and spirit's trying to push you towards something else and they'll just make it unmanageable, <laughs> so you have to leave. Clarify this, um... Yeah, see, there's the tower and the, the judgment. There's going to be a tower moment here that leads to a new beginning with this new person that's coming in. And it's 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 going to be like, it's just the, the relationship that you're in is going to become such a burden that you just can't deal with it anymore and you just end it or it ends. But the hangman in reverse, again, 
It's like you've been waiting for something. It's, um, you've been waiting to make this decision. There's been a delay while you made this decision or your person had to make a decision, right? Clarify the, because I feel like even though, <laughs> look, temperance, waiting patiently, um, trying to be balanced, trying to be moderate, because I feel like even though this person is toxic, like I said, you know, they may have kind of ground down your sense of self-worth and that makes you feel like, oh, I deserve this, right? <laughs> um, it's fine that I'm being treated this way because I deserve this. I'm a bad person and I deserve this. Um, you know, or maybe you just didn't want to hurt the person. You've definitely been thinking about this a lot. You have the Nine of uh, Swords and the Hermit. You've been massively, massively thinking about this, like overthinking it, worrying about it. I can see why, you know. Uh, clarify, because, you know, dealing with a toxic person is never fun because they're psychos, but I just see you leaving the Page of Swords, you're just done. You're just done. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna happen fast. I have to say this, Pisces. When you make this decision to leave, I think it's gonna happen fast. Clarify the Knight of Wands. the Knight of Wands, please. I'm just going to go into a different deck, Pisces, because I haven't got a lot of cards left in that deck. Um, clarify the Knight of Wands, please. Four of Pentacles and the Page of Swords. See, again, it's like you were holding back. There's that Page of, uh, sorry, the Four of Pentacles and then that Page of Swords. It's like things that were held back suddenly like move. Okay, clarify. I don't, I feel like that wanted to go there. Clarify the Knight of Wands. It's like you've been holding it back for so long and then it's just like, pff, it all comes out. Um, clarify the Knight of Wands. Yep, the Three of Cups. This new person is gonna make you very happy. Very, very happy. And clarify the Seven of Cups, please. I think this new person is going to seem a little too good to be true after what you've been dealing with. Um, clarify the Seven of Cups, please. Oh my gosh. Um, clarify the Seven of Cups, please. Yeah, it's this emperor wants to come out. The new person, like you have the star, they're gonna seem too good to be true. You're gonna question it because of what you've been dealing with, okay? They may have Aries in their chart, they don't have to, but they're kind of a leader energy. They could also have Aquarius with the star, but they're gonna be very healing. They're very grown up. Uh, they're very logical, you know, um, very faithful. They've been through it as well. This, this emperor energy, you know, they're very mature. Um, they're gonna be a very healing energy for you. Nine of Cups, wish fulfillment. Give me a little bit more on this Knight of Wands. Give me a little bit more on this Knight of Wands, please. <laughs> the Knight of Wands, wow. Um, it's so much easier when you repeat exactly what you just said. Uh, clarify the Knight of Wands, please. The Tower. I 
just see you making this choice to walk away. You have the chariot and the eight of cups. You've been somewhere where your cup of love was being woefully unappreciated. So you're going to take it towards someone uh, who's going to appreciate it. Give me a little bit more on that. Um, Why is the tower there? The knight, the queen of wands. This new person could definitely be a Leo. This new person is like your tower. <laughs> it's like, you see the connection here? You have the tower and the tower. It's like you go from this to them. It's like almost instantly. It's like a pre-existing, it's almost like a, it's almost like some of you already know this person. Like you've met them and you know exactly where you want to go. Uh, they could be a Leo, could be a, also Aries or Sagittarius, but um, they may have their own business. They um very alluring, like very attractive, very kind of come hither, very sexy energy, very pretty or very handsome, very charming, very personable, very warm, very passionate, very kind of fiery energy. Page of Pentacles. You might meet this person at work or you may have met them through your work. Maybe like they had, maybe they just started at your work or you just started in a new job or you can meet them when you're training or learning a new skill or something. They could be a Gemini. They could have Gemini Leo or Gemini fire combination. The lovers, this is like a, a true love soulmate type situation though. I feel like they're going to come in really fast. <laughs> they have the Queen of Pentacles here as well. So not only, like, they're very char- Yep, and the Queen of Cups. Um, <laughs> they're very well balanced, this person, okay, regardless of their gender. I feel like this person may have made you an offer before and you couldn't take it because you were in a connection. You had to decide. But um, yeah, you have the Queen of Wands, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, regardless of gender. This person is, they're very passionate, very sexy, very fiery. Queen of Pentacles, very down to earth, very grounded, very stable, um, you know, good at saving money. They may own their own business. They're, if, they're good with money, okay? They're good at making money, they're good at saving money. But with the Queen of Cups as well, they're also very sweet, very compassionate, loving, empathetic, soft. It's just a great energy for you, Pisces. And I feel like it just happens, it's it's fast. Like once this tower moment happens, I feel like you guys, there's really not a long time between you getting together with this person. You know, it's all about this decision, like you making this decision. Um, okay, let's try and get some timing. So I did this for uh, Gemini and Virgo, we'll see what comes out for you guys. Okay, any timing for this tower moment for Pisces please? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, is there any timing? Listen to your intuition. So this tower moment is going to occur when you start listening to your intuition. You want to be a little bit more specific? I'm not taking those because uh, there's too many. Sorry Pisces, my camera cut out. You want to get a little more specific with the timing of this tower for Pisces. And I just want to specify, oh my god, Virgo had that. Oh, that's freaky. <laughs> you should definitely watch the Virgo reading if you're called to. I just want to specify before I continue. This tower, this walking away, is only for those of you who are already in a toxic connection. If your connection is not toxic, then this reading is not for you. Okay? 
This is the, the tower here is representing the ending of a toxic connection. So you would want it to end, okay? Virgo had the exact same cards talking about the exact same thing, spoiler alert, within the next few weeks. You may find within the next few weeks that you end up having some kind of tower moment with this toxic connection and leaving, okay? And anything about this um, this union? Tell, is there is there a timing for this union with the new person? Okay, it's important for you to trust Pisces. Okay, is there a timing for this union with this new person? Is there a timing? You have unlikely. <laughs> um, does that mean you're not giving her the timing? Is there a timing for this union with the new person? I feel like maybe you're not getting a timing here, Pisces. Uh, okay. <laughs> I think they want me to stop because I got to choose a new direction. So I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stop that there, but um, no, give me give me one more. Uh, <laughs> what about this Knight of Cups offer? Is there? Tell tell me about this Knight of Cups. When is that happening? When you're ready, basically. Okay. Um, so it's kind of an open ended. When whenever you're ready, Pisces. Okay. So. There's going to be an ending for those of you in the toxic connection. You may find there's an ending in that in the next few weeks. And then this love offer, either you're making it to someone or they're making it. Um, it's going to be in the near future when you're ready. Okay. So, and you have, there's something better at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So I won't push it because I'm tempted to just be like a dog with a bone and be like, can we have a specific timing? But that's fair. <laughs> so, um, in the near future when you're ready. So tell us about this new person coming in for Pisces, please. Tell us about this new, that's a lot. Um, Tell us about this new person coming in for Pisces. Okay, you have charismatic. This is very Queen of Wands energy. Very charismatic, very charming. Um, you have best friend. So this new person is going to feel like a best friend. Okay, they are very intelligent. And also very alluring, very sexy, very alluring. You have playful at the bottom of the deck as well. Okay. Uh, Virgo had that and I'm sure Gemini had it as well. This person is intuitive, okay? Like they read people very well, I think. What else about this new person coming in for Pisces? What else about this new person coming in for Pisces? Voluptuous. So that one's really one like more for the ladies, you know. Um, this person, if you're dealing with a woman, they may be very voluptuous. What else about this new person coming in for Pis Pisces? They are gorgeous. Um, I'm sure Virgo had that. And speaking speak of the devil, you have Virgo, so they may be a Virgo. Um, they may have Virgo in their chart. They're humble. Virgo definitely had that one. Uh, what else about this new person coming in for Pisces, please? You have water sign. Uh, green eyes is sticking out here as well, so they might have green eyes. Specifically, I feel like they might be Cancer. But, um, they, you know, they could be Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy, this new person. Uh, what else about this new person coming in for Pisces? They are very to the point <laughs> and that has come out with Aries so they may well have some Aries in their chart. 
And let's get three more. I feel like I just dropped that one. Uh, what else about this new person coming in for Pisces? Anything else about this new person for Pisces? Okay, you have chilled. So they're a very chilled energy as well. Generous is the wrong way up here, so we're gonna take it. So this new person is very generous. Um, I think very different to who you've dealt with in the past. And faithful. So this person is gonna be very faithful to you, Pisces. Um, you also have introvert, so they may be something of an introvert. They may still be very charming and stuff, but you know, you may find that this person likes to spend time alone. You know, you have air sign as well, so they could be uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm just going to get one more because they gave you an extra one. So, anything else about this new person coming in for Pisces? slender so they might be very slender as well I'm kind of thinking of maybe that one like more for a woman so if you're dealing with a woman they might be very slender but you have total sweetheart on the split and you also have fearless <laughs> which is very Aries energy so they have like a nice combination between like being a badass and being really sweet so you deserve it Pisces after this toxic person you have been dealing with so I hope that was a useful reading uh, many thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for me if you feel like doing that. I'd appreciate it very much, Pisces. And as always, many blessings, love and light.